Mwah! Supply it to pipit. Hey there! Let's level up your spoken French, guys. Today we are diving into the world of colloquial French expressions for expressing your personal opinions and appreciation. From ça déchire to PTDR, let's learn the meaning behind these catchy phrases, guys, that native speakers use all over social media. So open your ears, it's time to add some real French to your vocab, guys. The first casual word you need is perso. Perso is short version of personnel, and we use it to share our personal preference or opinion. Perso, je préfère les chiens au chat. Perso, je préfère les chiens au chat. Perso, j'ai trouvé le film bien. Perso, j'ai trouvé le film bien. Next one is kiffer. The French word kiffer means to like or to love something. If you like a song, for example, you can say je kiffe cette chanson. Je kiffe cette chanson. Je kiffe faire du skate. Je te kiffe also. If you like someone, you can say je te kiffe. You can also say je crois que je le kiffe vraiment. The girls would often say je crois que je le kiffe vraiment. Je crois que je le kiffe vraiment. <laughs> Next one is pépite. The French word pépite literally means nugget. But casually, it is used to describe something amazing, exceptional, or a hidden gem. For example, talking about a great movie, you can say Ce film est une vraie pépite. Ce film est une vraie pépite. Talking about a delicious dish, you would say Ce plat est une pépite. Mouah, ce plat est une pépite. You can also talk about a talented person. You can say, cet artiste est une pépite. Cet artiste est une pépite. Next one is une tuerie. Literally, it means a killing. But colloquially, casually, it is used to describe something amazing, fantastic, mind-blowing. For example, you went to an incredible concert. You will say, le concert hier soir, c'était une tuerie. Le concert hier soir, c'était une tuerie. Or you had a delicious cake. You will say, ce gâteau est une tuerie. Mm, ce gâteau est une tuerie. You saw a fantastic movie. You can say, this movie is awesome. So you will say, ce film est une tuerie. Ce film est une tuerie. Guys, you can scan the QR code or download from the link below the free PDF with audio I made for you guys, as usual. You will learn the equivalent of standard beginner French reactions, nouns, verbs, adjectives, all beginner vocabulary in colloquial French with audio in your pocket, guys. Next one is ça m'a tué. Literally means it killed me. But casually, it is used to express that something made you laugh a lot or that you liked it a lot. For example, if you heard a funny joke, you can say ça m'a tué. Or for example, you saw a very funny movie. You will say le film était tellement drôle, ça m'a tué. Le film était tellement drôle, ça m'a tué. About a situation, you can say, quand elle a fait ça, ça m'a tué. Next one is de malade. De malade means crazy or insane to describe something that is very good or impressive. Most of you know the word malade, which means sick, right? When you are sick, you will say, je suis malade, I'm sick. But in colloquial French, guys, you can use it like a characteristic. You will say something de malade. It was amazing or it is amazing. For example, you saw an amazing movie. You can say, c'est un film de malade. C'est un film de malade. Je te conseille d'aller voir ce film. If the party is incredible, guys, you can say, c'est une fête de malade. C'est une fête de malade. You can also say, un truc de malade. Like, it's insane. It's crazy. C'est un truc de malade. Or it's great. It's, it's great. It depends on the context, guys. It can be like, just like, wow, it's crazy good. You know, or just or just crazy. Next one is grave. So the French word grave is casually used to mean very or totally when you want to emphasize something. So instead of say très, we say grave. For example, you can say je suis grave fatigué. Je suis grave fatigué. Or when you eat something really delicious, you can say c'est grave bon. C'est grave bon. Next one is marrant. So marrant is colloquial and it means funny or amusing. For example, if you heard a funny joke, you can say cette blague est vraiment marrante. Cette blague est vraiment marrante. You can also use it to talk about an amusing situation. Cette situation est vraiment marrante. You can also talk about a funny person saying il est trop marrant, elle est trop marrante. Pierre est trop marrant. 
But be careful, guys. Sometimes people can say t'es marrant ou t'es marrante. When you express like your opinion or your plans, it can also mean how can you think or how can you say that? Implying that what you are saying is naive or nonsense or surprising. For example, if your friend says to you, je pense que je peux apprendre le français en une semaine. You can say, t'es marrant toi. Like, it's insane. Crazy you. Next one is, c'est ouf. So, ouf means crazy. And this sentence, c'est ouf, it's an informal way of saying that something is amazing or mind-blowing also. About a concert, you can say, ce concert était ouf. You will also hear c'est pas ouf. C'est pas ouf is the opposite. C'est pas ouf means that something is not great, disappointing. When you say c'est pas ouf, you're disappointed. You are not satisfied with something. Next one, guys, is very, very nice. It's powerful. We say c'est du lourd. C'est du lourd. It means that something is impressive. Something is impactful, powerful, remarkable. Tu as regardé le match? C'était du lourd. It can also be about powerful statements. You can say, le discours du président, c'était du lourd. Il a vraiment captivé tout le monde. How do you feel, guys? Are you still there? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like. We move to the next one, which is fort. Fort is strong, right? Many of you know the word. So we can say, c'est fort. But when you admire something, guys, you are surprised by someone's skills or performance. You can say, wow, trop fort, trop fort, too good, too good. This phrase intensifies the meaning of fort to emphasize that someone is exceptionally skilled or impressive. You can also say to someone, t'es fort, t'es fort, you are good, to compliment someone for their skills, abilities, achievements. You are good at this, you are impressive. T'as fait ça, t'es trop fort. Oh, t'as fait ça, t'es trop fort. Ce que t'as dit, c'est fort. Ce que t'as dit, c'est fort. T'es vraiment fort. Next one is very nice, guys. We say sans plus. Sans plus. Sans plus, literally nothing more. So it means just okay. We use this phrase to say that something is average, like satisfactory, you know, but not particularly remarkable or exceptional. Like if I ask you, did you like the movie, t'as aimé le film, you can say sans plus, sans plus. Next one, guys, is énorme. You know, énorme literally means huge in French, right? But in colloquial French, in everyday life, we use it to say amazing, awesome, incredible. We will use it to describe something outstanding, like exceptionally good, you know? It, you can say c'était énorme. Le concert était énorme. You emphasize how great or impressive something was, such as an event, performance, experience. You can say oh, la fête d'anniversaire hier soir, c'était énorme. La fête d'anniversaire de Pierre, c'était énorme. Next one is JPP. It's an abbreviation for je n'en peux plus. Je n'en peux plus, but you can also say JPP. Literally, je n'en peux plus translates like I can't take it anymore. I can't stand it anymore. When we say it, we express that we are being overwhelmed, exhausted, fed up with the situation or something or someone. But you can also use it as an appreciation, guys. So, JPP, when you see it like an opinion, like an appreciation, uh, similar to saying like, it's so amazing or it's awesome in English. So, you can say JPP, c'est trop bon. JPP, wow, it's amazing. Next one is je suis mort. Je suis mort. In Twitter, it translates I'm dead. However, when used in daily life, guys, casually, it will mean I'm dying or I'm dead in the sense of laughing very hard. It's a way to express that something is extremely funny. You are basically dying from laughter. Je suis mort. T'as vu la vidéo? Je suis mort. Next one is un régal. Un régal it translates to a delight or a treat in English. In colloquial French, guys, un régal is commonly used to express appreciation or satisfaction for something enjoyable or pleasurable. Whether it's food, an experience or a situation, you can say c'est un régal. So, talking about food, you can say ce gâteau est un régal. Ce gâteau est un régal. But you can also talk about an experience. For example, you went to the beach. You can say, Cette journée à la plage, c'était un régal. Cette journée à la plage, c'était un régal. You can also talk about a situation. You can say, Voir Titanic au cinéma, c'est un régal. Voir Titanic au cinéma, c'est un régal. Next one is chou or mimi. There are synonyms, guys. So chou in French literally means cabbage, right? But chou also means Cute in colloquial French, chou or mimi, cute, sweet, charming. 
You can use it to describe physical appearance, personality traits, gestures. For example, you see a baby, guys, and you think it, he's cute. You can say, ce bébé est tellement chou. You can also talk about someone's personality, saying, elle est tellement chou. Elle est toujours prête à aider. Elle a un prénom vraiment mimi. Elle a un prénom vraiment mimi. You can also talk about a lovely gesture, saying, c'est vraiment chou. C'est vraiment chou de ta part. When you receive a gift, guys, for example, you can say, c'est vraiment chou de ta part, merci. C'est vraiment chou. Next one is, ça déchire. You might think of, ah, ça déchire. Déchirer, guys. But no. Ça déchire is a colloquial French expression, guys, that can be translated like, it rocks. It's awesome. So, it's, it's strong. It, when you find that something is like, really outstanding, impressive, enjoyable, guys. You can say ça déchire. You can talk about an event. Je suis au concert de Madonna, ça déchire. Elle déchire. Okay? You can also talk about a cool experience. You saw a movie or you saw a YouTube video. You can say cette vidéo YouTube, ça déchire. Elle déchire cette vidéo. You can also talk about a great outcome, saying le résultat déchire. Le résultat déchire. You can also say to someone, guys, when you admire something and you want to make a compliment, like you're impressed by someone, you can say tu déchire, tu déchire. If it's in the past, you can say ta déchiré, you rock, you are awesome. So you compliment the person, you compliment his skills or achievements or performance. Tu déchire, ta déchiré, ta déchiré ton exam, bravo. Ta présentation était super, tu déchire. Next one is MDR, guys. MDR is the French equivalent of lol. So literally, MDR is mort de rire, which means dead from laughter. So you can say MDR. You can write it and you can say it. You can say MDR. And the last one is PTDR. You can think of it as MDR but intensified. Save it guys for really exceptional memes or really hilarious videos. PTDR. If we translate it literally, it means bursting with laughter. Write a comment using one of the words you learned today and get the full list of colloquial vocab for beginners in one PDF with audio from the link below the video or from the QR code, guys.